Ashes of Creation is an MMORPG that is unique in the genre. It has a promise that every server will be unique compared to each other, telling their own stories and having their own narratives, all tied into player progression, which is a very ambitious statement for an online game where there'll be 10,000 players on every server and the world ever changing around it. But if Intrepid manages to pull this off, this will cause expansions to Ashes of Creation to be a bit more complicated than a traditional update to a game. So how exactly is Intrepid planning to craft an expansion around a ton of different narratives throughout the different servers? Well, to get the full idea of this, you first need to understand story arcs. Intrepid Studios is reinventing how questing will work in MMORPGs. Normally, you head to a questing hub, grab those quests from all the NPCs, and head off into a stagnant world fighting monsters, collecting items, and escorting dumb NPCs around. Something that, while is convenient for leveling, gets old very quickly if the quests are not unique and engaging to the player, and something a lot of people just want to rush through and not truly experience the story that the game is trying to tell. Ashes of Creation, though, won't have traditional questing hubs. Vera is an ever changing world that starts out pretty empty when the players first step through the divine gateways, and player progression within the regions develops the nodes, which are the central hubs to the game, and the majority of the content will stem off these nodes' progression, unlocking dungeons, raids, resources, roads and bridges, and story arcs. Every time a node reaches its next stage, it unlocks new narratives, changes spawn populations, resource spawns, and all of that good stuff. And some of these narratives may not be unlocked on your server depending on the route players take. Ashes of Creation has what are called minor story arcs, which can be repeatable on a server if certain parameters are met, but then there are major story arcs as well, which are a one-time thing that you may not see happen again unless you head to a different server. When these arcs are turned on, players will have a certain amount of time to complete the first chapter, which seems that it could last up to a few days, and based on how players interact with this arc and what challenges they accomplish, will distinguish how the next chapter goes. We saw a bit of this in the Tower of Carven preview, where one story arc was activated in a bridge moved into position making a once blocked off area more accessible. And Steven also stated that depending on how the arc goes, Two of the possibilities to end that particular narrative could involve fighting a boss on the top of the tower or on the ground outside of the tower. But if you're on a different server who takes a completely different path around this and develops a whole different set of nodes in the Riverlands, well then your server may not ever get to experience this. So it would make no sense for the next expansion to talk about how the Tower of Carfin was merely a setback as that last boss you killed came back from the dead. Well, in the community Q&A last month, Steven gave us some big details on how exactly expansions will work based off of story arcs. And it sounds like expansions will have vague callbacks to the prior events leading up to it, but ultimately will bring new story arcs to players that aren't directly impacted on the previous ones. Obviously, um, you know, when, when our story arcs have branches, and it depends kind of on the story arc um, itself, right? We have these major story arcs, we have minor story arcs, um, we have personal story arcs, stuff like that. They all tie into a meta narrative. When we are releasing expansions, we throw back to more gross, generalized ideas of a particular story arc. So for example, if little Timmy dies at the end of one particular story arc, there might be five or six different ways he could die, depending on which story arc maybe gets interfaced with or which chapter, how a particular chapter might end. Um, but when we refer back to little Timmy dying versus living in a future expansion, we don't need to get granular in how little Timmy died, right? Out of the six possible scenarios. We just need to say poor little Timmy died. Isn't that sad, right? Um, so in that sense, we keep it as binary, as 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 restricted in the number of ways that it can occur. But in addition, the reality is we're going to be creating new storylines with um, the future expansions, and we're going to do our best to kind of call back into what a particular story might have been with on a server. But the core, <clears throat> the core aspect of these story arcs is to kind of create that unique aspect of player driven storylines within a particular expansion or launch and then do our best to call back to them as we release future expansions and redefine particularly those areas. 
This will definitely be interesting to see how they manage to do this, as we are normally used to a set narrative moving from game to game that is the same across all servers and for all players. And although that system might be missed by some people, I think it'll be refreshing to feel like you can jump onto a new server with a new character and have a completely different experience. If you made it this far into the video, then I assume you are enjoying this content. So please do me a huge favor to help this channel out and click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, and turn on the bell for notifications to be notified of the latest Ashes of Creation news. Also, drop a comment down below or in the Richie SH Discord on how you feel about the way Intrepid is handling expansions. If you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more Ashes content to come.